<laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, we actually gonna start off this episode of the couch um, with Kyle's gossip, but I want to introduce everybody. I'm Egypt Thompson. I'm Darnell, and of course I'm Kyle. Uh, we're gonna start off with my gossip. You know, before we actually got ready to film this show, I was standing up, and Darnell's like, "You got on a padded, you got on some padded drawers." And I'm like, "No, boy, that's my booty." A dunk a dunk. Right. So you know, for those girls and some of those men who want to have a bigger butt, um, the best way to do that is squats in the gym, yep. leg workouts, running, running will lift your booty, and then just you know, making sure when you walk you keep it tight and you know. Almost like moving up. cable muscles. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> so, so the biggest myth is when we're talking about myths that people think that if you have anal sex that that makes your behind bigger. So if somebody wants to challenge that, write in and let us know if you think that's proof. Because I don't know. Right. And I got the answer. They don't know. So. Yeah, so we'll say. Right. It. So it's all. Now we were talking about, now we were having a big subject matter and we were talking, what was the big thing? Because you had grooming. mentioned before. Grooming. Because oh, that thing cut off before. So right. men's grooming. So this is our number one thing. Y'all brush those teeth. Right. Teeth brush that are tongue. so important. Brush that tongue. When Before you go out on a date anyway, you should, in fact, get a little dispenser of Listerine and switch before you even enter the date. Even mm -hmm. if you did brush at home right. and you were like, it's all good and gravy. And flush. I mean flush. Yeah, flush. 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 See, flush. Flush, flush. flush too. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. Flush because you'll put out that meat and if you smell that, it's smell mm -hmm. like old reindeer. Yeah. Old yeah. See. Mm -hmm. so, and invest in your smile too. Yeah. yeah. Hollywood. Because Hollywood. you people will spend a great smile. Hollywood you people will spend two thousand dollars on a television on some rims. And will not invest in that mouth. Go to the dentist. Mm -hmm. Because nobody wants to, you know, and then bleaching. Now I've done the zoom whitening. I loved it. It was now it was a little it did burn a little bit because it was like, you know, it was just intimidating because it felt hot and it was more psychological yeah. and your teeth are more sensitive. I would testify right. to that sensitive teeth yeah. will that bleaching it process is gonna hurt. But I went through it but, because I did not want to be walking around looking yeah, like teeth. a hillbilly. Yeah. And if you're so, gonna be doing stuff like smoking a little marijuana or you know brush cigarettes, it out right oh. after. brush right after, and then start drinking coffee out of a straw. Yes, because and drinks out of a straw tea. because you know people. I'm telling you, keep that mouth together. And this is this ain't just for gay folks. Mm -hmm. This is for folks in general. Men, keep it together. Uh, and brush, peroxide. I'm sorry, peroxide. Gargle peroxide. with peroxide. Put a little water in it. Gargle with it. Works oh. really well with like getting and coffee stains, baking, baking soda. soda. Yeah. And also, with drinking coffee out of straw, make sure it's a thick straw, not that tiny stir, yeah. because it strains the muscles in your face, and you don't want to be looking like that either. Yeah, and also, you know, chapstick. Now, because I know it's wintertime still, and the breeze is kicking, mm -hmm. keep up on a chapstick. And they even have a thing by Deuce uh, Something CEO Bigelow from uh, Bath and Body Works. They have a, a, a scrub that has like sugar in it that'll get rid of the dead skin, and then you put a chapstick. So, men invest in chapstick. You know, instead of just putting it down there, right. throw it up here too. And, and you can put the guy. With right. the liniment and also taking care of the skin, finding out it raises. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's another thing. That's a real adult thing to me because my friend Damien, he's now he's actually introducing me because all I did was ivory soap. But you, at a certain point, you do got to start investing in mm -hmm. a product. So go to the stores. Sephora is really good with the help there, and they will give you introduce you mm -hmm. to some products. So the Anthony product is really good. Doctor Pericon. Kills. Kills is really good. Mm -hmm. So Very invest good in some soaps. Doctor Mirage is really good. Yeah. Aveda is really and, good. And, and our, our famous. Uh, uh, what's that famous uh, person that, that Puffy and everybody that uh, that the black doctor? No, it's the one in the bottles. The, the kits that are going around. Proactive is really Proactive. good for the yeah. for the eighteen hours. And then shaving, like what direction to do? Like going up and down and razor bumps and and making sure that that chin is looking good because sometimes you just be shaving and then this be looking like old uh, ants on the meat skin. And right. my suggestion would be to go to like a spa. To a yeah. licensed esthetician that can help you. I'm a licensed esthetician. If you need more information, and makeup artist. So why and am I sitting here looking up? I told you what face. we were gonna do. Don't do that while we're filming. Right. Because right. um, <laughs> he but, up here talking about his face looking like right. Real. I'm, I'm like, but he stuff the other day. But go to a licensed esthetician. If your money is a little funny, I know we're in a recession. Go to a beauty school. Beauty schools that we're have skincare, that. Marinello, different areas like that. Yes. The students will, will work on you, but they will have licensed estheticians that will help you to yes. do extractions, show you how to work with ingrown hair bumps. Ask them, what kind of skin? What's my skin type? Ask right. them these yes. questions yes. and concerns yes. that you have about your skin. And also, good old, old, good old, old fashioned old Valet is good. Also, me with this uh, plucking these eyebrows, the unibrow is so out, so don't Get think rid that. Get all that yeah. extra yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. And don't get too crazy on the end. Yeah, the arch. Unless you, unless me, unless your boyfriend likes you with arch eyebrows. Or you're into that. Then you into do that? It. Do it. But, but thicker brows are in now. Thicker brows, brows are that's, in. That's the, the old. The old McDonald's also, arch is gone. Yeah. Also, the memo is skinny jeans are in. So get rid of those jeans that are bell bottom or sagging. Mm -hmm. Even straight men, you can get jeans to fit. They ain't got to be skinny. skinny jeans, man, unless you got thick legs too. You know. Yeah. And not, you know, <laughs> and the skinny jean ain't for everybody. But get your clothes to fit. 
even when you are bigger people, don't feel like you need to throw on a bag suit because it only makes you look bigger. The right. hairline with the Beijing dye, make sure it looks realistic and don't get it like super micro black. Right. And your skin Wash it in. out at least one time. Right. Don't have it. Don't you look and like also, a sharpie? Yeah. No. Ooh, sharpie. Sharpie. That's that that. Talk uh, about the Beijing dye. The Beijing dye, you can do that. It's a rinse, so it's done. It's not really that hard on your, uh, you know, chemical wise, and it's temporary. So you can do it for a minute and dash on. You can pull a Beijing on the eyebrows to give it that to give it or that. Oriental black up. number fifty nine. That's all you need. Or <laughs> we'll just write us in, and we'll give you the details on how to Beijing and put that together for you. Um, also, before what's you up? go ahead, um, I want to piggyback back to the chapstick thing. I was watching Tyre.